Just two days ago, someone called me to congratulate me for something. And while he was talking, he said, I want to thank God for your wife too, because it's not easy to live with someone as strange as you are. I try to convince him that I am not in any way strange, but he won the argument by saying that nobody knows himself enough to know who he is. Okay, here is the thing. I honestly believe that I am not strange, even though my family members and friends somehow think I am. Instead of being strange, what I do know is that I have different mentors than most people. Your life is going to be similar to the lives of the people you choose to listen to. So, if your models and mentors are poor people, you'll most likely be poor. If you choose successful people like your teachers, most people will think that you're strange simply because you'll think differently and take different decisions from what they believe to be normal. Today, I want us all to learn a few things from Warren Buffett so that we can change a few things in our lives and increase our chances of success. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Invest in yourself As a young person, Warren Buffett knew that if truly he wanted to become successful as an entrepreneur, he needed to learn how to speak to be able to convince people to invest with him. This was the reason he registered for Dale Carnegie's public speaking course, which changed his life forever. While Warren Buffett is known to be the greatest investor in this generation, most people don't know that Buffett invested in himself more than most people in the world. Today, I meet people who complain about everything. I don't have the capital. The government is bad. The economy is bad. Nobody helps me. And so on. Each time I hear people complaining like this, I know that I could have as well been in their shoes if not for the crazy investment I made in myself. If you want to be better than most people, you have to acquire skills most people don't have. And you can only do this if you're willing to invest time in yourself. Unlike when Warren Buffett was young, education and self-development are now cheap and easily accessible, thanks to the internet. So, don't make an excuse. Make time to invest in yourself and acquire some valuable skills. 2. Be willing to die for what you want. Growing up in a poor household, Buffett saw how terrible poverty was and decided to become rich or kill himself. No, I don't mean you should kill yourself, but listen to this. You need some level of desperation to win difficult battles, and poverty is difficult. In my personal life, I've confronted death and got so desperate that the only thing I wouldn't do were things I considered sinful or unlawful. Most people today are not comfortable with the word desperate, but I believe in holy desperation because getting rich is just too difficult if you are born poor. You have to want it so bad, just as you want oxygen, because if you don't want money so bad, you won't be able to make the required sacrifices needed to become rich. Again, I don't do anything sinful or unlawful. I am not advocating you do anything illegitimate. Instead, I'm challenging you to be willing to make as many sacrifices as needed to have all of the money you need to live a good life. 3. Dream Freedom not things. Nine out of ten times, the reason people don't achieve what they want to achieve is not that they don't know how to achieve what they wish to, but because they don't know why they must achieve what they want or their why is weak. When it comes to money, the reason why most people want to become rich is that they want to drive Lamborghini or own the biggest mansion in their city. The problem with such thinking is that those reasons are not strong enough and your mind knows the truth. What happens is that if the reason you want to be rich is to drive fast cars, at some point, your spirit convinces you that the prices you are paying for the fast car isn't worth it because deep within, you know that fast cars won't make you happy more than a few weeks. But there's something that can make you happy for the rest of your life, and that is freedom. Having the freedom to sleep whenever you like and wake up at your own time having the freedom to work with whoever you want and avoid whoever is toxic, having the freedom to work anywhere you want at your own time is a priceless blessing. Your mind won't rest if you make them your primary goal. Some people would say, why then are the rich using expensive jets, cars and watches? Take for example, Kelvin O'Leary 
buys watches as expensive as $80,000. And you can look at that and think, oh, he got rich, so he can use expensive watches. But you'll be wrong. His history shows us that he got rich because he hated how his employer treated him. It was the freedom that drove him. Buying expensive watches are only secondary to him. Yes, you can buy anything you desire when you get rich. But if those things are the reasons you want to become rich, you might not get the motivation to make the sacrifices needed to be rich. Warren Buffett was driven by freedom, and that's the best thing that can drive you. 4. Figure out where everyone is going and go in the opposite direction. Warren Buffett said, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. In other words, the world is almost always wrong because most people are victims of what psychologists call social proof. Here is how it works. Henry Ford said, thinking is the hardest work. And while Henry Ford wasn't a psychologist, psychology has proved him right because it is an undeniable truth that humans don't think. What we do instead is look at whatever other people are doing and conclude that if everyone is doing it, it must be the right thing to do. The problem with this thinking is that the real deal takes place before everyone gets to know about it. Take for instance, the worst companies you can invest in today are the most successful companies. The reason is that most of these companies are grown already and can only have little growth in the years to come. Take for instance, Amazon is a $1 trillion company and everyone wants to invest in companies like Amazon. The problem, however, is that if you need to double your money, you'll need Amazon to be $2 trillion, which might take a decade or never. But look at a smart startup. Most people won't invest in them because most people don't know how to assess a company with potential. But think about it. A startup that's worth a million dollars today can be worth $20 million in the next five years. While you might not be able to double your money by investing in a trillion dollar company, you can get 1,000% by investing in a smart startup. Above is just a single example. Almost everywhere you look, you'll notice that most people are doing things not because they know it's the right thing, but because they see everyone doing the same thing. Your life will be more successful if you resist the temptation to follow the crowd and learn how to think, study, and do what most people don't. These are a few lessons I think everyone should learn from Warren Buffett. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe if you've not done so. We love you.